Hi guys, I'm Zach from Nerdworks Media and today is quite exciting. So as you can see, my car is in a recalculating out of the way location. And that is because finally I'm going to be fixing the problem that has plagued my car for a very long time. The leaky brake color part. Uh, so yeah, in, in short we found a a guy who's gonna just repair my calipers, or at least hopefully. So we're gonna, but we need to take them off so you can see at very least. So calipers have to come off. Yep, so I'm going to take my wheels off, basically. That's what's going on. So, time lapse time. Okay guys, and now as you can see, the car has been jacked up. That was very difficult work, and I had to do it twice, because the first time I did it, I put the jacks in the wrong place, and my dad said I should fix that. <laughs> jacks are in the right place now. As you can see, they are as far to the sides as they can be. And now, I'm going to show you to the extent of what, how, well, how bad my caliper is. Uh, let me just move the jack out of the way. As you probably saw, a multiple few times in the time lapse I'm not strong enough to move that and it's very difficult but it's fine okay so uh, apologies you're gonna be sideways for a little bit um, well firstly there you, know, you can see on my rims how badly it's eaten the paint here I mean I can come and scuff all this off and Absolutely nothing. I know I probably shouldn't, but uh, um, but yeah, it's completely eaten away at the black on my rims, and then it's obviously made under here really, really oily and gross. Cause yeah, <laughs> and then if you look at the caliper itself, which you guys will probably see better when I take off the wheel, yeah, it's it's completely eaten. Oh gosh, this is very difficult to vlog underneath the car. Anyway, alright, so that is it. Now on to now on to the time lapse of me taking all the rooms off. Yay! Wheels are off. Now I bet a lot of you didn't know this, but look at this. On the stock Miata P uh, shield, brake shield, whatever, there is actually ducting for the cooling. I didn't know that literally until right now. Well, I mean, I, I'd seen the brakes before and I'd seen this before, I just never comprehended. Oh wait, it's a duct. Obviously it doesn't really go anywhere, but I guess if you had a aftermarket bumper like if you did up your bumper and you had like a little bit of a scoop there you could technically make like a scoop that went all the way up to your discs that's cool unless you had like wool wood uh, which are bigger the bigger brackets anyway all the wheels are off as you can see here no, sorry now you can see just how badly it's eaten up inside of my room as well as how damp it's left things. Ugh. But yeah, there we go. Now it is off, and now I have to work on the calipers to get the calipers off. I'll see if I can show you. Uh, you know, it's a bit too dark. It's basically that part there that's leaking. It's got. I don't know. Surprisingly enough, it's not when... <laughs> OK, 
Okay guys, day three. As we can see, my discs are off and we actually sent them in to go get, um, well, to see if we could get, to see if we could get new discs. Uh, apparently, nobody has my rear discs, but we did manage to get new fronts. Now, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but a part of, and now my dad's hiding away. So a part of what we are doing is we are going to uh, drill my disc. We're going to cross vent them. Cross vent? Yes. Okay. Cross ventilate them. So my dad, being the genius that he is, genius, um, knows a way to do that, and he has mathed out with magic because wizards. Um, <laughs> Don't be dodged out by this. He learned how to do this when working on his own project car a few years ago. Besides, I took them on a track day. See the Christmas special next week for that, where my brakes performed epically. I'm not quite sure, and apparently he's too um, camera friendly to come and explain exactly what he has done. But um, basically, he just measured it out on size of the disc versus how many... Well, in equal parts, where, how you can split it and then get it equally done, essentially, so that the holes are drilled in the correct places. Don't really know how to explain it. But yeah. And if you ask me, I think that looks pretty fire. Big thank you to my dad for actually knowing math. <laughs> um, Yes, it may be a little bit, or some of you may be a bit concerned that it's dodge because we're not using a proper machines, well, the lathe uh, and stuff like that. I have faith in my dad's math. Yeah. I have faith in my dad's math. That's basically all you guys need to know. I have faith in my dad's math. I won't lie, I'm still very nervous, but I have my original discs in case it doesn't work. The only problem we would have is if we've going to draw the rear and then I haven't got spare rears because I only bought fronts. So we'll see but I'm reasonably I'm quite confident in my dad and his ability to math things and wizard things. So that is one disc done. Uh, again here we go. It's one disc done. We have another four to go. Three to go. Cars don't have five wheels. <laughs> Anyway, yes, my brake discs. Uh, so, as you guys saw yesterday, which was probably about 30 seconds ago for you guys, we obviously got the drilled brake discs. Well, we made our own cross-drilled brake discs. Now, to show you what we're doing with the rear, which will also be uh, cross-drilled, although they, they not, yeah. Uh, but, I'm going to, so here's the Older ones, as you can see, they're kind of rusty and all scruffed up and stuff. They don't look that great. But on this side, obviously I've scuffed them up a little bit. They look a little bit neater. And the idea is, I'm sure you've seen on like aftermarket brake uh, brake discs and stuff, they like have them black. Now I don't care for the, like the black bridging because well, that lasts five minutes anyway. But just for the the sensors. Uh, so that uh, it stops the surface rust and stuff. Okay guys, update time. So, um, we decided, I had a big long chat with my dad, and we decided that we are not going to spray the sensors. That is because uh, they're going to land up rusting anyway, and it would be more just for cosmetic than to actually stop any rust. Like, it's not actually going to help. So we decided to just leave it out. And then, uh, past that, we've also decided that we're not going to cross drill the rears. Uh, we're just going to leave them as plain discs. That is because we managed to find front discs, but not rear discs. And in case our math is wrong, we have uh, spare front discs, the original front discs that I had, which are still there. Um, but obviously we wouldn't have rears. And I thought it would be fine, but the... It is exceptionally harder to do the rears than it is to do the fronts, uh, math-wise. And although I still trust my dad's math, and I trust that my dad could figure it out if we gave it enough time and you know, thought power, <laughs> he's busy with his crap, and 
it's 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 not worth it. Honestly, the slotted the cross drill, sorry, is more just for the aesthetic side of look, cool performance brakes. So we decided to give that a miss. My dad's shoes are really squeaky on this floor. <laughs> But yeah, there we go. There's all four calipers. You guys saw the nice fronts. Um, next time I update you guys is, I guess, when we have the calipers and then we can just chuck them on the car. So there we go. Unless I do something in here, which I don't know, because the last time I did something, I f***ed it up. I'm going to have to bleep that out. <laughs> oh, my dad scratched. Uh, see you in the next clip. Okay guys, and finally we have all the bits to go back on. The brake calipers look amazing, and now I've got the cool discs as well. <laughs> That's thumbnail worthy now. I'm so happy with these. Dad, you need to tell me what the guy's business is. I'll put a little tag somewhere on the screen. And... Grown from the tells leaving, but I'll, okay. I'll give you the details. There we go. But guys, these look so cool. I'm I'm not ready to see this look. This is gonna be so cool. Oh no, wait, wait, well, I should explain. So my camera uh, decided that it overheated and it wanted to go on strike and stop filming. So that's why the footage was cut short, but we bled the brakes uh, and then also uh, bedded them in. Did a nice big bedding in session, more so necessary than what I needed to do, but you know, rather take uh, the extra precaution than be sorry. So. <laughs> Safe than sorry. There is a huge storm coming, so I'm gonna be quick, and you probably got a glimpse there. But let me give you guys a quick cinematic rundown, and then yeah. That was super short because that storm is coming, boys. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, apologies for the super dirty car, but the new brakes are on, and I'm like so excited because this is so cool. They look so nice. I am like so pumped right now. <laughs> Best shit ever. Uh, I'm probably gonna run away home now so that I don't get caught in this with brand new brakes because that terrifies the absolute crap out of me. <laughs> um, but yeah, there we go. New brakes. New calipers, well, redone calipers of the old calipers, which is just as good. And, yeah, damn. Guys, I'm so pumped. Yeah, well, I'll see you guys in the next episode, which is going to be our Christmas special. Wow, I'm actually doing a Christmas special. How cool is that? Uh, this video is probably going to go live over the weekend that is my birthday. So, happy birthday to future me. Hello. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, damn. I'm so excited. So until then guys
it's so cool <laughs> until then guys i hope you really enjoyed this episode it was a really long one to do obviously it was like five six days in total um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i'm sorry for the camera being poopy <laughs> um and i'll see you guys in the next episode for our christmas special cool cheers <laughs>